Hello. So I haven't done a video for a while, mainly because uh, I haven't done very well, as usual. And um, so I have to get a bit closer because uh, I need I need a microphone for this because the one that's built in isn't very good. Uh, and so yeah, I need to get like really close. But uh, uh, anyway, um, so last week I had uh, three teeth taken out. Um, under general anesthetic because obviously it's free. Um, but I'll do. I, I'll probably do a proper video on that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, no, I just thought I'd do a video of uh, Scrappy and his tricks because he knows how to do six now, which is really cool. I taught him uh, how to do uh, high five tonight. Um, he did it really, really quickly. It was really awesome. Um, so yeah, and um, we've got these really cool. Shh. I have that in a minute. Um, pumpkin treats. I don't know if you've seen them. I found them in the shops there. They're like chicken and pumpkin flavour. And he seems to really like them because he managed to do high five. So um, I'm going to just adjust the camera and sort of step back a bit so you can see us. And yeah, have fun. So yeah, he took most of those tricks. He took so long to learn. It was crazy. I don't understand how it took him so long. But um, the high five, literally two seconds. He got it like straight away. It was really cool. So yeah, really excited about that. Oh, that's my phone. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, but um, yeah, I'll do um a proper video tomorrow. Uh, about my operation and stuff, but like, I felt like a really weird day because um, about four or five times I've been misgendered today. It's really irritating. Like, um, where was I? What happened the first time? Oh yeah, I was in town and I went in there, went in this shop and I um, like, to do obviously to look at the stuff. <laughs> um and then um I went to um I come back out and um oh, I hate these stupid people that hand out leaflets and all this shit. I, I cut they do my head in because they they always get in my way and um they just generally tend to be dicks. And anyway, so this guy sort of like jumped out in front of me. It's like, oh, good morning, ma'am. And I just sort of looked at him like. Dude, no. I was like, you, you've just misgendered me. I am not gonna take a fucking leaflet of whatever you're selling or whatever because you've pissed me off. And then, yeah, I think, and then, where was the other time? And then, yeah, again in a shop, I got misgendered. Um, I was in a pet shop. Um, uh, what was I? Oh, I was just looking around. I was wanted uh, some advice on cat food because I got two cats, and um, but they're different ages. And um, sorry, my dog's making lots of noise and it's really irritating. Stop it. Um, and um, yeah. So the woman I first spoke to, um, didn't she was new or something, so she didn't really know a lot about the products just yet. 
answer. Shh. Well, that's like a madhouse, isn't it? I can't do anything. Um, stop it. Um, do you want to come and sit up here? Okay. Right. Um, yeah, so when her colleague, she was talking to her colleague, she's like, oh, yeah, she's so, yeah, she misgendered me, and I was just like, dude, I'm so frustrating. Like, now I, because I've lost, um, two and a bit, two, well, nearly three stone, I've lost two stone, eleven pounds, since coming off the Kataya thing. Um, yeah, my sort, and my chest isn't, oops, sort of, I don't think it's as visible as it was. I mean, I still don't bind because of um, it being too uncomfortable and the fact that I can't breathe. Um, I have problems with my breathing anyway, so it's not sort of advisable that I bind. But oh, it's just, I just want to punch these people. So it like, yeah, it's really annoying. I know I look like a 12 year old boy most of the time, but yeah, nothing about me really screams female, I don't think personally, apart from my voice, obviously, like, because it's not that deep and I don't, I obviously don't shave or anything, but oh man, it's just so, oh, it just kicks off like the gender dysphoria and stuff and it just, and also, you don't really want to say anything because you don't know these people, and you're more than likely not going to see them again anyway, unless you're sort of a regular in the shop or whatever. But yeah, it's just like I think there should be a thing where if people want your attention, say like if you're if you're talking to a colleague and you need them to help with another customer with who you're talking to or whatever then you should just say can you help me with this can you help that customer not go I don't understand why gender needs to come in it into it like I don't understand why people have to go oh, can you help this lady or can you help this man they're a customer at the end of the day so why does gender of that person needs to be um, mentioned, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't get it. Um, yeah, because it's just irritating. You know? But, uh, I'm, just, I, I'm just dying for hormones, really. I can't, oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's my road a lot. Scrabbling around. But, yeah, it's just. I don't know. It's hard sometimes. It's just like, oh. Sometimes I feel like. Well, I know I'm doing the right thing, so I feel. I f like. It's hard to explain. Like, because I feel better for it. My, like. Because before I had like um I've got bipolar and my moods were like all over the place and blah, blah, blah. um but sort of since coming out as trans sort of I felt more calm sort of like an inter like an internal calmness I suppose and my moods haven't been to the extreme, which is really good, and they and and they've been so I can control them with a minimal amount of medication and just using the sort of skills I learned in ther therapy and that, which you know, which is cool. But yeah, some days I just get oh, I can't, I can't do it. Like, it's too hard, or you know, I think I think. I think it's because I'm impatient. I'm really, really impatient. Yeah, I want it all like right this second. 
I, you know, hold on, I want surgery, I want testosterone, I want, I want it all. But, you know, I know it'll be good, like, when I get it, like, when it all happens, and it all sort of, I think, I think because I haven't been to the gender clinic just yet, I think, um, I think that's what's, I don't, oh, I, don't, I don't know, I can't really explain it, my brain's not working today, but it's just a lot of impatience, really impatient, and, um, yeah, I just want to, just want to do it, you know, just want, I just want to be like, I just want to have the right bits that, that, that my brain needs, it's sort of, yeah. If that makes sense. I don't know. I'm probably just waffling now, but yeah. But I've got um. You see my specialist on Thursday for all my health stuff, and um um because at the moment I'm on prednisolone, so steroids every other day, and methotrexate injections, which oh, I hate. They're horrible. They well, they don't make me sick so much. Occasionally, I don't think I've been sick with it since summer actually. Um, <laughs> watch me be sick tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I got to speak to her about um, because she knows I'm trans, she knows that. But um, because obviously the uh, we haven't really spoken about it in depth. Um, and because of the hormones being steroid based. Like something I need to talk to her about because you've got, I think you can take this like a gel and I think an injection that how, how you can take your steroids. I don't really fancy the gel and injection, it'll do me fine. Um, yeah, because my friend's got the gel and he's got like where he rubs it in, he's got like really bad acne. I'd be like, I'd be worried. I just feel really wouldn't like doing its job properly. I want to make, I want to like an injection, make sure it's all in there. Um, and I've got quite sensitive skin anyway, so. Um, but yeah, so I need to make sure that the uh, steroid-based hormones won't interact with any sort of um medication that I'm already taking because I'm I'm already on quite a lot on on uh. Uh, steroids, uh, methotrexate, folic acid, which um, is for um, helping with the side effects of the methotrexate. Um, what else? Oh, ranitidine, which is to protect my stomach because um, um, the um, methotrexate makes me sick a lot. Uh, carbocysteine, which is to help get stuff off of my chest. Um, I think that's it. I've got inhalers and I'm on the contraceptive pill which is really cool because I like I just don't have any like sharp weeks at all. Um if you don't want know what shark me if yeah, shark week and um is like, you know, female stuff. But I I don't like saying it so I just call it shark week instead. Um so yeah. Um so yeah, I'm on quite a lot. Um but yeah, so I just I didn't, that's something I really need to talk to her about because obviously um, if any of it will interact, then we've got to start looking. I stop play fighting. Um, <laughs> messing around. Um, yeah. So if any of it is likely to interact with uh, the hormones, then I we've got to look at um, changing all that now. Um, because, well, because I can't come all off all of it straight away. I've got, you know, I've got to come off of it gradually. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping, um, that it's, I don't see why it would have, like, a major, major interaction. <laughs> Don't get five minutes peace in here. Um, it's like having children. Um, 
yeah, I don't see that it would cause any major interaction. I don't think it will. Not like because I've had a look um, on the side effects and stuff online. Um, but yeah, I, it's something I still need to discuss with her. And I'm also going to um, um, do a letter to the rest of my because I see a uh, rheumatologist. She's my specialist. She's the one I is in like she's in charge of my medication and my basic lot like, my care basically. And then um when things aren't going very well with different areas then I see different doctors. So I see um I have an is nose and throat specialist. Um which he's he's known me since I was about fourteen because um he helped he he helped diagnose me um with the GPA. Um and then I've got I see a um chest specialist as well, so thoracic medicine. Um and he's quite new actually, I've not seen him many times, but the guy I did start seeing before him has retired, so I was like, Woo, I outlasted outlasted the doctor <laughs> Um which is quite cool. But I'm so goofy. Anyway, um Yeah, so <laughs> Because they don't see me as often. Um, shots. Yeah. Um, and obviously they they do prescribe me medication now and again. I'm um, like uh, the carbocysteine was actually prescribed by my chest doctor. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I need to. What I'm gonna do is like write a letter to all of them and just explain uh situation. You know, being trans. How I would prefer to be referred to and um that uh what medication I'm currently on, what I what my plans are in the future. This is so crazy. Um and regarding like hormones and surgery and stuff like that. And so they're aware and then when I do finally get to uh Charing Cross, um then um, I can, Charing Cross will have to know all the details of all of my doctors, regardless of whether I see them regularly or not, and, um, and then they, and then so they can talk to each other, like, during this period it's going to be so vital that they talk to each other, um, just because I, my memory is awful, I, it's shot, I don't remember a lot of stuff, um, and that's a lot for me to sort of take responsibility for, like the whole thing. Like, I'm not gonna, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to like li liaise between them all, just all by myself. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really stressful. So if they are all aware of each other and they are all able to talk to each other, then that that takes a lot of stress off me. So um. Yeah, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to include my psychiatrist in it, uh, and my specialist, I'm just going to sort of, and my GP, um, I'm just sort of going to do one to everyone that's seen me, and like my psychiatrist, I don't see him anymore, but um, at the end of the day, I still got bipolar, I could need him in the future, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so he still needs to be aware of everything. Um so yeah I'm just gonna do a letter to them all and just 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 from like my peace of mind and and just explain to them that they you know make sure they have all the details of Charing Cross as well. And um yeah just make them aware that they need to when it comes to it when I get there that they will need to liaise with each other and you know sort of vice versa. So yeah sort of like it's yeah it makes it much more complicated in my case and um because of all the health problems and I do like I know I shouldn't but in some respects I do feel a bit guilty because I don't work um because of being ill um and but I do, I do voluntary work but just like once a month and you know, whatever, but, um, 
Yeah, I just feel bad, like, that it's something else that I'm getting off the NHS, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I, again, it's hard to explain, it's like, that, you know, I rely on them, basically, to keep me alive. Um, you know, with medication, I don't have to pay for it, and none of my care, obviously, I have to pay for. Um, and then... Yeah, and then you're sort of asking, sort of saying to the taxpayer, well, this person needs this as well, sort of on top of it, and it like does make me feel a bit guilty. But at the end of the day, I just keep telling myself, well, you know, none of these situations are my fault. Like, you know, I haven't caused any of my illnesses um, myself. Um, so. Yeah, I was going to make a comparison then, but I don't want to offend anyone or be mean, um, because that's not fair, um, but, uh, but I know, I am fully aware that I'm very lucky to be in the UK, um, especially, well, with the NHS and the fact that, it's, you know, things are quite open here regarding being trans and stuff um, and yeah for political reasons I'm 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 staying out of that conversation but I'm yeah I'm fully aware that I'm really really lucky to be in this country in the first place um, but I suppose where you're born is luck anyway isn't it you know it sort of happens but yeah so yeah, just n not really a point to my video today, it's just sort of more of a Hi, here's my dog, let's ramble on about stuff <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, um, ever since I had my teeth out I've had a bit of a chesty cough, it's really annoying <coughs> I always have a bit of a cough anyway and I have my flu jab done on Monday, I think. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry, that's totally gross, but. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really. I'm. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. Um. But, yeah. But. Brain stopped working. I'm sorry. I'm just like. <laughs> that happened in a shop earlier. I was shopping. I was in my food shopping. And um, <clears throat> it's got on everything that was on my list because if I don't go with a list and I end up just pottering around and not getting anything or getting loads of crap that I don't even want, um, and I might I just sort of stopped in the aisle and this <laughs> so embarrassing. I just sort of stopped, just just like just brain just went. I just sort of stood there staring in space. This woman came up to me and she was like. You're right, and I'm like, oh yeah, just gone. I'm just, oh, I'm just tired. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it happens now and again that somebody will be talking to me, I'll be doing something, and I'll just stop, and then people sort of like looking at me, and my, or somebody will be talking to me, and they go, Dylan, I'm like, what? And I'm just. Because I sort of like, I sort of then look around me and I'm like, where am I? <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> it's really weird. It's, I don't know, I suppose, I think some of it's to do with like the brain fog and like my poor concentration, the fact that I'm really tired. And I think some of it's maybe to do with like the um, dissociation. Because we've, dis well, I say we, me and my counsellor have discovered that um, I probably disassociate from my body quite a lot. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I, I, like, I did that the other day, um, like, I, what was I doing? I ended up, I, I was going, so I, I don't remember the details of it, because, I don't know, um, because of the brain fog. Yeah, I was going somewhere, and I sort of got there, I was, just looked around, and I'm like, I don't even know how I got it. I don't remember walking there. Like, I think I was just going shopping. I was just getting something for the shop. But 
it just I just went on autopilot and I was just like I don't even know where I am. Yeah, I know it's what the price is. I don't even I'm not sure what it is. I think it's disassociation sort of mix of the brain fog. I just sort of get a moment of like Oh crap, where am I? It's weird, it's so weird. But yeah. It's bizarre. Anyway, I've rambled on for like 25 minutes now. Um, <laughs> but I haven't done a video in a while. Um, yeah, so um, I'll do another one tomorrow uh, about <clears throat> how having my teeth out went and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna have a piercing tomorrow, so I'm well excited about that. I'm yeah. gonna have Oops, not that side. That one done. Um, um, uh, uh, scaffolding. Scaffold. Not scaffolding. Scaffold. One just like a pole down there. Which is cool. One less piercing at the moment. I couldn't, um, because first day these were, these were out like pretty much all day. Um, I couldn't get the middle one back through. It's really annoying, but I'm quite liking about that one in actually. Because that one's always a pain in the ass anyway. Um, even if it's out for an hour, literally I have to really push it hard to get back through. But because it was out like all day, I phew, it wasn't going in. I'm just gonna leave it out now. Um, get it done in the future. But yeah, I'm really excited of getting. <sighs> nope, that one done. I haven't. Yeah, it's a mirrored thing on my laptop, so I'm more like I don't know where I am. Um, yeah, you can see my dog behind me. Fox, who's a good girl? <laughs> Come in then. This, ah, is my fox. You beautiful girl. Oh, cheers. She's, um, I'll quickly show you as I'm here. She's got a really pretty dress. Look. It's a Halloween dress. She looks so cute in it. And my boy. This is his he hasn't got a dress. He's got his t shirt. Oh yeah, he's got a lot handsome in that. <clears throat> it's obviously Halloween a week away. Woohoo! Now if like Halloween could last till like cr like well from now until January instead of this Christmas crap well happy um <laughs> yeah I much prefer Halloween than uh, Christmas I don't, well I don't mind Christmas it's just ugh, yeah <laughs> um but right I'm gonna go now because I want to watch. Uh, the Moaning of Life too, because I love Carl Pil Pilkington because he's awesome. Um, yeah, and I'll post this in Mojo. See you later.